Hi, today I have created personal financial tracker in Notion. Let me introduce about my template. I am creating this video because I have used some relation and functions more than I expected. For some people, it might be a bit complicated. So my template is divided into four parts. First is the simple and fast record. You can record your spendings or incomes like salaries here in the calendar view and the second part is the financial handlings i have actually divided into cash credit cards and bank accounts yeah some of this might be familiar to you or not and next part is about goal and the last is financial management which is the monthly report for those who actually want to summarize your total spendings or total incomes, you can use this part. I have added the last part because for the first and the second part, which is the simple and fast record and financial handlings, I found out that I couldn't actually see how much I use per month. I've added the financial management part. Okay, so now let me begin. Let me explain how it works. So the first part, I mean, I have actually didn't turn on the full width, but if you want, you can use the full width after duplicating my template. Basically, as you can see, this is in calendar views. In any devices that you're using, either laptop or even your Notion app in your phone, like iPhone or Galaxy, you can simply add here, add an item. For example, if I bought coffee today, then let me say the price is like $2. This type will be expenses, definitely not income. This is just for your own record. This um, this is just yeah, coffee. I've added this option because I actually drink a lot of coffee. The next one is the payment. This is checking which option you used. I, okay, I have used credit card. So the payment method will be credit card here. If you have selected cash or check card, then then you should select either cash or you know other check cards according to the linked bank account, right? But here, since I have selected credit card just now, I'll just put credit card here. You don't really have to care right now because this is managed by the final management part done here. And I have added one more view in this simple and fast record. So in this spending views, I have divided the categories in shopping, snacks, coffee, living, education, transport, cosmetics, and etc. I have added this view because I wanted to see in which section I have used most money in that month. For those who doesn't want to see this view, then you guys can just only refer to the calendar view here. Okay, now let's go to the financial handlings. So this is the sources when you make your payment or when, you know, you're having income. This is cash, credit card. I mean, if you have more credit card, you can add and, you know, like name it credit card one, credit card two, or you can just add the credit card's company's name or, you know, it's up to you. This part you can see cash emergency and savings and emergency savings and livings. You can make a tag. This is um, especially for bank accounts. So um, for me, I would normally divide my bank accounts by different purpose. So here, similar to just now, I have added board view so I can check my accounts by different purposes. But default will be this gallery view. And goal. I'll come here after explaining the final management. So final management will be a bit complicated part. Okay, so here this expense is related to check. Check is this calendar view here. Since this part is related to check, this expense is calculating all the spendings I have made in on that month. So I would select all the spendings here and by using the rollup function rollup I have some all the prices so I have used this formula rollup 
from expenses and I have only selected the price property got the sum of all of it so far I have used 150.3 dollars according to this record now similarly to expense according to my check here I only have one income which is the salary and total income will be same as salary this is the check card usage I would divide my check expenses and credit card expenses so here I would only select the items that I've paid with my check same as here credit card roll up get the sum of all the items that I've paid by check here same I haven't recorded these values because October is not finished yet but at the beginning of November I can write the values here after recording more and let me come back to the goal side I have added this because I need some reason to save my salary or not just wasting or buying everything so for example if I want to buy iPhone then I would um, record the price and I will record for how much I saved to buy this specific item then this achieved formula which I have added the formula here will show how much I've uh, collected to buy this item and for example traveling and iPad Pro here yep I would be um, sharing this templates in my share hub sharing my templates here this part after posting this video to my channel okay so this is all and i hope this helps thank you